Alright guys, it's March 9th, it's about 50 degrees outside, we're going to put on a shed hunt, and, well, found my first antler, um, walking on this trail, right here, I was walking this way, and I looked, and I saw the base of this antler, <clears throat> There it is. Little spike. Hard find. That's the second spike antler I've ever found. Pretty fresh find. My water bottle. There's a spike. Probably about six inch. Cool. Cool, cool find. I've been walking probably about, I don't know, 10 minutes. Not even that long. Hopefully we can find something bigger. But this is a hard find. Not too many people find spikes. This is the second one I've ever found. Cool. Keep walking and hopefully more luck will come. It's a beautiful day. It's 50 degrees outside. About 3.30. And it's the first shed, it's my second shed of the year, and it's another chew toy, I guess, so I'm going to keep looking. All right, been walking for probably an hour. Found that antler way down there in the bottom, and haven't found anything, mainly because there's a ton of snow. It's 50 degrees, and there's still so much snow, and you won't find anything in the snow. A white antler in the white snow is just hard, so hard. March 10th, 2013, about 55 degrees, snow is still here on this hillside, but pretty much disappearing where the sun's hitting. Daylight savings was yesterday or today, and it's messing me up with the hours and everything. So it's going to get dark pretty early, it's about 3.30, I just got back from fishing, I didn't do any good down to the local river, west branch of the Susquehanna. Pick, didn't pick up anything. A lot of, pretty good hatch coming off. I don't know what it was, but hopefully we can get some fish caught and hopefully gonna pick up some sheds as well. Gonna hike up this mountain and head straight out. So we'll see what's, see what's happening out there. All right guys, we got another shed. And believe it or not, I actually walked right by this shed. Um, I think in my first shed hunt in the year, I walked right up this, well I came from this way, and I walked right through here. That antler's laying right there, I'm going to go pick her up. Oh, it's broken. It's a broken antler. Little uh, one, two, three, almost four. Broken broke right before the base. Cool find. This buck must have came in here and uh, got his butt whooped and left. Cause I've never seen those deer. It's a cool find. Broken up right at the base. Little three point side. Pretty nice brows though. Really nice brow. For the, just a, like Little like ten inch, ten inch main beam antler. Cool find. Let's go get some more. I'm gonna cut it th back this way and maybe we can get some more. All right, I'm gonna give you guys a little shed hunting story. Um, about two years ago, we were in this tree stand. I was in the one on the left. My dad was on the one on the right, and it was in the fall, and I watched. 
I was watching this uh, leaf fall out of the tree, and I watched it fall, and it landed right on top of a pair of antlers that were laying right there. I'll put it in the video right here and it'll be in the description the link I think it's called archery setup and a nice a point I don't know but <clears throat> right here and somebody was in our stand and because there's a buck bomb over there and we don't use buck bombs and this is all tore up by deer all of this is just fresh digging all tore up by deer right in front of this, our stand. I don't know if somebody put something out like in front of our stand. Well at first I couldn't find the stand. I thought it was stolen but I guess not. So yeah there's just a bunch of digging right in front of the stand. I Somebody had to have thrown something out here. I don't know. Alright and I spooked a deer up there. It was laying over there. I can just see a white tail going. So I found one antler and I'm gonna keep walking out uh, this way, I guess. And maybe have some luck. Well, I've been walking for a really long time and I've covered a good mile and a half. Just a straight shot from where I found an antler to here. Great across, across this little creek. And I'm gonna hit these, there's a bunch of pine trees up here. I'm gonna hit it and nothing's there. I'm heading home. And hop on the main road and head back so stick with me well I started my journey over there at that house wish I had a tripod but in this field now Looking around. Nice buck rub over there. Looking under these trees. Anything. Lots and lots of deer sign too. Well, gonna go over here and look in those pines. Maybe we can get something. Starting to walk home. Found one antler. Third antler of the year. Found a spike yesterday found a chewed up antler, really old antler, uh, two weeks ago I think. Still haven't got a gang together and gotten and hit the woods hard. I hit the woods hard today though, but if I had a gang we would have had better luck, hopefully. Spooked so many deer, I didn't get any on film, and you guys probably think I'm lying, but I didn't. I'm not lying, and I spooked. Uh, they look like all does, but I couldn't tell because all the bucks lost their antlers now anyway, so Hopefully we can get get out in the woods and fish as well and I'll leave you with that. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and keep watching my videos follow me on Twitter and Follow you guys back. Thanks for watching <laughs>
long times too. Now you're at first antler of 2013. Two you can see what the brow time was right here and then it forked off right here and comes in like this. The base is right here. Now we got the one I found yesterday, the spike. Found about 10 minutes into the shed hunt. Pretty fresh base too. Now we got the one I found today. I broke off um, three three points. But like I said, it's a really nice brow time for how big this antler is. Thanks for watching this week's video, and keep um, keep the subscribe subscriptions coming, and uh, maybe I'll subscribe back. So thanks for watching, and for me to one of your friends, maybe they got some cool videos, and hopefully we start finding. Some more bigger antlers like these. Thanks for watching, guys.